Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I am Star Lord New Door 7, your planetary defense commander. And right now we're going to look at the situations within the ocean. We have Hurricane 1, I mean, I'm sorry, Hurricane Category 1, barrel, barreling along at about 80 miles per hour. And we have no newly formed or declared tropical depression three all right so we have a very active Atlantic especially compared to what they had predicted a week ago although my predictions seem to be hitting the bullseye again and I want to say this like I spent like a week arguing with a lot of professional meteorologists and meteor and uh, weather enthusiasts who are saying barrel won't become a hurricane barrel can't become a hurricane the wind shear, the dust, it's impossible. You don't know what you're talking about. It, there's no way it can be a threat to any of the islands. And now it's become a hurricane and it is a potential threat to the islands. So at this point, you can tell me your point of view. I'm not interested in arguing with anybody. I do what I do and I do it well. Take the information if you want to and don't if you don't. That's the deal. All right. Sweet. So, what I'm saying in general overall is that everything is weird, and it's getting weirder. And that comes from the fact that I've been studying the sun for five and a half years, and when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird. It's true. And so, right over, we're at Twitter now, at the awesome and incredible Dr. Tamitha Scove. She says, our sun wakes up launching two Earth-directed solar storms today. It's a one-two punch. NASA models predict impact late July 9th or early July 10th. Storms are weak, so effects may be moderate. But Aurora could reach mid-latitudes over several days. Expect ham radio and GPS issues as well. If you've been paying attention, like six months ago, I said, I believe our sun, which is in a solar minimum right now, and some believe a grand solar minimum, I said our sun will wake up in July. So somehow, I made that prediction, and boom, everybody's saying, hey, y'all, the sun's waking up. So I know dipshit, dumbass, dickweed. I know what I'm doing, and I'm sorry if people get cognitive dissonance. Right now, we've got a bunch of storms breaking out over the east side of the United States. Um, and... But this main video is about barrel, and everybody keeps talking about how small it is. And then the system of Carolina, which earlier, one model had it saying it could get to a Cat 4, and now the highest they have it getting is possibly a Cat 2 or a Cat 1. And my concern with that is that it is just supposed to churn and burn off the coast for a few days. Hence the giant avocado mm, avocados are so good I don't even need to make guacamole I just split them open and eat them so I'm a boss so yeah right now starting on Sunday through Wednesday it's projected to sit and spin and everybody keeps saying it is of no danger to land and well maybe a meteorologist's job is to tell you not to worry about stuff but as your planetary defense commander I say you absolutely need to be prepared and have a plan in case either of these two surprise everybody, like the weather has done a lot lately. This is brought to us by Eric Holthaus, Hurricane Barrel. Some good news, Barrel has struggled during the day today and is no longer forecast to strengthen to a Category 2. Also, Puerto Rico is no longer forecast, no longer in the forecast cone. A direct hit on the Dominica as a hurricane is still possible on Sunday. And that technically, we're going to have to watch what this thing does until it dies. Because some models have shown it strengthening after. Like when it hits these waters or wherever it goes. So, you know, until the threat is completely over, everybody in the Gulf and East Coast needs to watch it. And watch both of them. Not the Gulf. If you don't need to watch that one. Uh, TD3. Which will be Hurricane Chris if it 
rapidly intensifies. So, you know, like I said, you take it or leave it. I'm just here passing on what I know. And so, like I said, I, I said, yeah, the sun's probably going to start waking up in July. So, you know, some my information pretty good sometimes. I'm not perfect. I get stuff wrong. Um, but like now, people are saying barrel won't have a chance to cause any damage here. And I hope that is correct. And people are saying the effects here will probably be negligible. I hope that is correct. But we got to prepare for a worst case scenario and be aware of it. And so you have two tropical disturbances. One is actually a hurricane and one is projected to be a hurricane over the next week. So yeah, we're at a high alert awareness level. And, I'm, you know, no fear. Technically, we should give it up fear like three years ago. The world's so shaky and unstable right now, you know, like, like if aliens descended from the sky, I'd be like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. And then if like giant robots from another dimension showed up after them, I'd be like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. And so about two weeks from now, see that thing rolling off of Africa? That thing is massive. That thing is big. It's a player. It's legit. It'll probably be a wave that needs to be watched. Really didn't think hurricane season for us with possible landfalls could ramp up until after the eclipses start on the 11th because like when the the eclipses affect the wind and the weather I don't know if you knew that it's true how much we don't know but so you got a lot of storm a lot of activity and the infrastructure damage has been pretty massive over the last two weeks And, you know, someone, people keep saying, you keep saying these storms are going to be bad, but then nothing happens. Dude, I got stockpiles of footage with broken bridges, total sinkholes. Like, let me go, remember last year, you need to, I need you to remember that, um, you know, it kind of the big pattern, the monsoon shit, it's over on the Pacific towards like Japan and everybody. And then it shifts. And so... I think this is Japan. So look, man. How many of those people do you think are alive? And after the government told us 60 people died in Puerto Rico, oh, now it's probably over 5,000. How many people trust government numbers? And I don't care who's in office. So, <clears throat> and we will have to test because the guy I recommend highly, Cranky Weather Guy, on, he has a blog, which I'll leave a link for you. He doesn't think the barrel is going to be shit. And I hope he's right. But it's neat that we disagree. And, um, you know, right now, he's not too worried about the potato. Or I know how dangerous the potato can be. And so, let's hope he's right. And we disagree. So, there, like I said, I'm not going to, at times... Or I recommend someone and we disagree. It's something that the truth community and everybody has to learn how to do. Just because someone has a different opinion doesn't mean you have to lose all respect for them. Me knowing the solar variables and the volcano variables with volcanoes popping off in Guatemala, the Gal Galapagos Islands, Hawaii, and Alaska, that's going to change atmospheric. It's going to change the atmosphere. It's going to change everything. And I don't think the models are prepared to deal with it. So... You know, and like I say, everyone is an expert before an event happens. So a lot of the times, people who are like, I totally disagree with you. When I am right, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, you were right. So, you know, so I'm just saying, I'm going to stay aware, but I'm tired of arguing with people. I would love to hear your opinion if you disagree, but, you know, getting angry because I have a different view is just not something I want to deal with. Um, So, there you go. Right now, no one is in specific danger to the two tropical systems. Uh, Ryan Maui, 117, nine hours ago. Where was the other thing over here? Like so much weird shit is happening. And I believe the actual term like climate change was designed just so if they mentioned it, people would get triggered and they would stop thinking about weather in a situation and they would just 
mentally go into a political camp like so like they will then reply with whatever their political party says here like no it's global warming and then global warming's fake so like nobody's worried about the hurricanes the tornadoes the floods because they're too busy getting triggered over political shit and so i believe the earth is like a mcdlt where the hot side is hot and the cool side is cool so the hot side is really hot and it floats around like a lava lamp you know the, the two sides float around it's like we're seeing all-time records broken 117 degrees 114 degrees santa Ana, riverside 118 you know you go one standard deviation outside of that and people start dying and then you go over to the cold side and the best way i can show the cold side right now is wait i can't even see that there we go no, i just want space with her i was enjoying that jam i had going on okay so the knock the loose in clouds meteor smoke makes strange clouds and science says oh yeah those giant the highest clouds up there those are from meteor smoke that's why i don't always agree with science because sometimes i say dumb shit that i don't agree with i think our atmosphere is changing growing like a body maybe even molting so the knock the knock the loose in clouds have been on fire and when i say on fire i mean really cold so they're usually at the North Pole, and it's about as big as I've ever seen them on memory. So that's where the cold shit is. So the hot is hot, and the cold is super cold. So I'm just keeping you guys posted, and we will know more tomorrow. And who knows, I might do more videos late at night. Who knows, it's 2018, it's summer, shit is crazy. Thank you guys for paying attention. Uh, but yeah, this is these are definitely still worth monitoring. You know? It's funny, none of them have hurricane barrel intensifying um, past a two, and only one has a two. But we'll see. You know, I know the wind shear has been, there is a lot of wind shear, there is a lot of Saharan dust. But, and barrel's tiny, but it's still bigger than Puerto Rico. Right now, it's not predicted to hit or affect Puerto Rico, but, you know, eight hours ago, it was. So, everybody needs to continue to Monitor this if you're along the coast, if you want to. If you want to be like a Boy Scout and be prepared. If you don't, okay, fine. That is your thing. I want everybody to have a fantastic Saturday. And freedom. Let freedom reign. And let love reign. And stay cool. Okay. Look at all these little swirlies. Vortex disease. Vortex disease. Alright. Peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool. I've said it. I've said it.